You're watching another Nerd Stalker interview. Startup Blog Insights, the top 10. Number three. Very cool. So, number three CEOs walk a fine line when using a positive spin. We were just kind of talking about that, right? We really? Did, right? We did. Uh, it turns out that that one creeped into one of the interviews, and the interview itself turned out to be um, you know, something that people uh, seem to have liked. And it, was, it really comes down to that, that piece. I mean, I literally know, I've really been on the road with people that I've been trying to work with over the years. And one, one in particular comes to mind when he got up. I don't even know if he understood his own technology well enough, but he clearly had a way of describing it that didn't match what his technology did. <laughs> and it was like, okay, you can't keep doing that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been in cases where, where, where an employee that I was on the road with me were, where I made a statement and they were concerned that I might be overstepping what I was saying would tell me about it and I'd try and adjust it. You could tell this person and he just went on and kept doing what he was doing because I don't think he understood the difference. <laughs> you know, some people think that, that selling you know, includes the ability to stretch stuff too far and I think that's, that's, mm -hmm. that's wrong. Yeah, yeah, I know. I, I, yeah, as as a uh, product engineer and product manager, I, I used to always cringe when um, some of our product marketing um, came and used a lot of our stuff, and I'd go like, <laughs> "Where did that come from?" <laughs> you know. So anyway, oh, 